February 16, 1974. Today was the day that Brooklyn finally erupted. The day that the empire of the notorious Papa Gino finally went into overdrive and burnt out. The day that Gino himself blew a hole into his own city so big that the blast itself would blow your goddamn head off. I'm just lucky enough to report this story. I'm Karen Woods. Typical Italian family. Good food, good wine, and good company. Papa Gino always took care of his family. There's Vinny. He's Gino's muscle. Kind of scrawny, but he gets the job done. A real low life. You can clean the streets up with that scum. That's Eve. She's a real sweetheart. Gino was no fool when he picked this Dean. She gives and gives and gives until she doesn't have anything left. Here's Fiona, Gino's only daughter. She's a little bit of a firecracker herself. Sometimes. More trouble than she's worth, though. And that's the big cheese himself, Papa Gino. Seems like a loving family man, and at some points, he can be. But most of the time, he's up high on his horse, thinking he's some kind of god. Pretty territorial guy. He just put out the word that anyone who steps on his turf unwanted is to be quote-unquote rubbed out. Yeah. And that's Gino's nephew, Frankie. He was always a bit resilient, but always had a good heart. Always doing what's right. And that's his buddy, Johnny. He never sat too well with Gino. Frankie knew he had to warn Johnny about Gino's new rules. But Johnny wasn't always there. Yo, Johnny, I'm afraid that Gino might rub you out. You st you're stepping on his turf. I don't know. No, no, it'll be fine. He doesn't, this doesn't matter that much. You sure? You're like a brother to me. Yeah, don't worry about it. I'll be fine. I don't know. I'm concerned, man. Don't worry. All right. You know, Vinny, it's the finer things in life that make it worth living. I hear you, Joe. You kill a couple scumbags who step on your turf. Goddamn scumbags. Hey, it's Joey. Joey. Joey! How you doing, Flynn? On our turf, he's got some balls! Does he know the consequences? Yeah, well, he's about to find out. Vinny, 27th Street Bar. To the bar. Well, look at what we got here. Don't you know the rules, buddy? Hmm? Step on a turf, you get robbed out. Wait, but I didn't know, I didn't know. He says he didn't know. We'll make sure you remember next time! Good thing we whacked him real good. Cool. We whacked him real good, didn't we? Watch his head. Who cares about his head? He's freaking dead already. I know, you're right. Why should we care? No, he's on Finn. All right. Go take care of him. Send us some officials. Papa Gino! Going. Don't you give me that, Vinny. Where's Johnny? Who cares? He's a freaking bum. Where's Johnny? You know what? Your uncle doesn't even love you. Ah. Johnny? Johnny! You know they got Frank, 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 you Frank, 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 Where's the body? It's in the 
the river, Gino. Okay. Why would you put the body in the river? You know what, I like to see it. That's what you told me to do. I, I told, told you to take care of with the fishes. I told you to take care of them. I want to see the body. Gino, it's taken care of. I want a body now! You got it, Gino. I got it. I'll you go get it. You go get it, Gino. You go get it. All I know is this was one bloody mess, one bloody night, and I'm sure glad I wasn't the scumbags who had to clean this mess up.